Okay, so in this video, I just want to show you how to back up your um, your profile. So uh, if you go down to settings, so basically you want to back this up because let's say you make edits and then um, to the user's profile. So um, let's say this is Beth, this is my profile. So this is Beth. So let's say I make edits to Beth in my protocol to go profile Beth. <laughs> um, I don't want to lose that. Something could happen to the iPad. Um, with kids, sometimes they move, go to other places. Like it's just um, other professionals, their their therapists change, all that stuff. So you just want to make sure that you have a backup. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go down to the right, the settings where I still have eight. Has like mine has a. I have to check out eight things. Anyway, it's a the settings with um wheel and it says options and you can see this is user bath this is mine um so if you scroll down here uh, until you get to backup you're going to click on backup and so you can back up all users so if you have more than one user um profile um you can back up the whole system um or you could just back up the one that you're on here so i'm gonna like right here this is back up up now so i'm just gonna do that one okay that's that that was really easy so it's backed up um but it's just backed up on my ipad so what we want to do is also send it somewhere else just in case something was to happen with the ipad so you're gonna come down where it says export backup you're gonna click that and then you're going to go to the top one. The top one is the most recently updated um, file. You can even see I the bottom one says Thursday, December 19th at a certain time. So it tells you the date and the time that, of when it was backed up. So this one was, the top one was just backed up um, a minute, less than a minute ago, because you saw me do it. So I'm going to hit export and you are going to hit share. So you can do it if you, I can airdrop it um, to my phone because I have the uh, Proloquo to go app on my phone. So I can airdrop it to that uh, phone. And you'll see that there it is, Beth iPhone. Okay, so I just got it. I know you can't see. I wanna show you now how to email it. So you can email um i'm gonna go through mail not gmail if you have if you're set up with your gmail um app on i'm not set up on the app on my this is my new ipad so but i am set up on mail so i'm gonna hit mail and i'm just going to email it to myself at my other email address um and i'm gonna put proloquo to so, and then I'm just going to put Beth because it was um, my user profile. So now you can see the file. So I'm going to email it, but just to remember that in order for the person to get the file and it, it, it looks like it is Proloquo, it looks like Proloquo to go <laughs> and it supported the, the device, they have to open it up on their iPad. Um, or iPhone, depending on what you're doing, that that device has to have Proloquo to go app downloaded on it. Or if it doesn't, and they open it up somewhere else on computer or, that, or wherever, um, it is not going to look like a supported. It's not going to look like the Proloquo to go. You, you can't essentially really access it. Um, so I just wanted to remind you of that or let you know of that. So here we go. I'm just going to email it to myself. And then now I have a copy um, there as well. I hope that was helpful. Tune in for more videos, comment, let me know what you think if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.